about cow chipping and why we do it. Okay, why I call it cow chipping as opposed to galley. Right? The first time we did it, we did it against Virginia Tech by accident. And the next time we did it, uh, we did it against Alabama on purpose, and it, it worked pretty good. We we lost both games, but what are you going to do? Basically, what we're doing here's old Woody here, and there's his. There's the post blocker, however you want to do it. You know, we we uh, we call this a hay bale. It's, it's, it's sort of like a tear, but he doesn't go anywhere. He He's just hay bale and he's waiting for the shock. When we cow tip, we cow tip, and I skip to cow tip. I don't, you know, and I, it doesn't really matter, but I think to skip shortens you up. It gets you, get you closer uh, to, the, to the strike a little bit better. And we're actually striking here. We're hand striking with what we call the hammer, okay? The hammer is two hands. And the reason we use hands is we don't want to knock the uh, the hay bale guy off. And the hay bale guy's got to keep his eyes on the run through and all that other stuff, but he's basically in front of this dude. We don't want to knock him off, okay? Now, it's, you know, like uh, a lot of people, I see a lot of people on TV doing this and they're, and they're doing it with their shoulder. And I don't care about the shoulder, but I don't, I don't want to not have this hand here in case this guy gets off of me. I want to be able to get in front of him and grab him or dig him. Okay. If, or if your guy has to get off on a run through, you want to be able to, to grab this guy and dig him out. Okay. But what we do is we start with uh, these, whatever your stance is, we skip to it. Okay. And we do this. We cow tip and shift our weight on the front foot reach in there somewhere below the armpit okay, trying to get the hip if we can get it and being careful to scrape paint off of our partner but not knock him over and we think that if we can get a good solid strike okay with the hammer that we can get this guy tipped over the other guy can hay bail which, which hay bail all it is is he's putting pressure on this guy He's waiting for the strike, and once he gets the hay bale, it just turns into any other kind of a tear. We're trying to stay with the guy and open up, open up the area for the back, and also for the cow tipper to get to the backside backer. And when we use this, we're, we like it in, in power or inside zone. Okay, but it's, it's a simple idea. Okay, we want to stay square if we can, but we don't we don't mind turn the turret. Okay. What we want to do is keep the inside foot up by that, okay? And when we take our, this is the avalanche idea. This is where we kind of got to it. And I do this and that and, and go condense to the ground, I'm making myself heavy, okay? I'm making myself heavy, all right? I don't want to, I don't want to go in there with this foot off the ground. I don't want to, I don't want to become a one-legged animal. I want to strike and time that strike hitting the ground if I can. And if I can't, it's great. You know, if he, if, if he gets a pretty good tear, you know, a, a pretty good hay bale on the guy, I just go to one hand and I have the other one free for the linebacker. Okay, if this guy spikes in and he gets grabbed by the postman, I square up and I'm looking, I'm looking for, you know, I'm not looking, but I'm feeling a, an outside in or any any looper okay because this guy's going in for a reason right and if you chase him in okay and you don't want to chase him in, you just want to kind of shuffle with him okay but you want to be square square to air okay now this is an air i mean you gotta you gotta just you gotta define this guy 